IBM Think 2025 AI-Driven Automation IBM's Web Methods hybrid integration takes aim at workflow sprawl. At Think 2025, IBM didn't just speak about AI-enabled productivity. It put forward a structural plan to address one of the most persistent thorns in enterprise modernization, integration complexity. The headline was the launch of IBM Web Methods hybrid integration, a unification of IBM's automation capabilities and software AG's veteran web methods platform. Together, this stack is meant to serve as the automation backbone for enterprises trying to connect workflows across old systems, new platforms, and fragmented cloud environments. This is an IBM trying to win the low-code buzzword war. It's an intentional play to reassert its position in what may be the most underhyped but mission-critical part of enterprise transformation, integration. As enterprises scale AI and move from pilot to platform, brittle APIs, fragile scripting, and unmanaged data flows become landmines, slowing progress, creating security gaps, and breeding noncompliance. IBM is repositioning integration not as a back office concern, but as the nervous system for next-gen AI-driven enterprise ops. Alongside web methods, IBM introduced concert resilience, a control plane for secure, observable orchestration, and deeper integrations with HashiCorp Vault for secrets management. Together, these make the case that modern automation isn't just about building bots. It's about building governed, secure, and observable systems that evolve with the enterprise. From platform fragmentation to flow layer strategy. At Greyhound Research, we believe this marks a meaningful shift in how IBM is framing its automation strategy. Not around individual tasks or AI agents, but around workflow orchestration at scale. In a world where CIOs are swamped with point solutions for workflow automation, RPA, and AI assistance, IBM is doing something refreshingly architectural, starting with the flow layer, the connective infrastructure where policy, process, and platform intersect. The inclusion of web methods isn't just about heritage, it's about reach. This stack already runs in thousands of enterprises, especially in manufacturing, BFSI, and government sectors. By modernizing it within the Watsonk's automation suite and layering AI-enhanced orchestration on top, IBM avoids the trap of pitching rip-and-replace automation. Instead, it offers Brownfield Enterprises a clear upgrade path that respects legacy investments. The concert resilience capabilities, which allow enterprise teams to visualize, monitor, and govern automated workflows in real time, are where the narrative truly shifts. This is IBM moving past the automation as productivity tool conversation and into automation as business critical infrastructure, governance, secrets, and the new automation stack. And by integrating with HashiCorp Vault, IBM is signaling that it understands the rising tension between developer velocity and security posture. In many enterprises, the lack of secrets management, audit trails, and runtime controls is what prevents AI-driven automation from scaling beyond internal IT. IBM's new automation stack aims to resolve that friction. Based on Greyhound CIO Pulse 2025, 61% of global 2000 CIOs now view integration sprawl as their top obstacle to scaling automation. Many have deployed AI assistants or digital worker pilots. But these remain trapped in departmental silos due to fragile integrations with ERP, CX, HR, and data governance platforms. In fact, 47% of CIOs are now planning to rationalize their automation stack, prioritizing platforms that offer hybrid integration, secrets management, and observability in one architecture. IBM's offering, combining the reliability of web methods with the governance of Concert and Vault, directly aligns with this direction. Another finding, only 36% of enterprises running automation at scale have observability tooling baked in. And of those that don't, 68% say this absence is the number one reason pilots stall at the compliance or audit stage. With Concert's ability to apply policy controls and runtime visibility across workflows, not just across apps, IBM offers a compliance-forward answer to a rapidly escalating issue. CIO priorities are shifting from ROI to risk assurance. Equally important is the move from automation ROI to risk ROI. For our study, 52% of CIOs now measure automation success by operational risk reduction, not just headcount savings or process acceleration. This is where IBM's stack shines. Less about chasing productivity percentages, more about reducing failure rates and compliance gaps. Greyhound field notes from Think 2025 revealed a noticeable shift in enterprise tone. Automation was no longer being discussed with excitement. It was being discussed with caution. In one Greyhound field note, 
A CIO from a US-based healthcare system remarked that workflow automation has burned them more often than it's helped. We've seen workflow automation promises before, they noted. What we haven't seen is automation that survives audits and works across our real architecture. Their team was far more interested in concert resilience's ability to model, monitor, and remediate automated flows across cloud and on-prem environments with security controls from day one. As they put it, if it doesn't pass InfoSEC, it doesn't pass Go. A second Greyhound field note captured the view of a VP of operations at a Southeast Asian retail bank who recounted the fallout of a botched automation deployment that failed silently and led to a six-figure reconciliation effort. For this leader, IBM's combination of real-time policy enforcement and vault-backed secrets handling represented more than functionality. It offered recoverable trust in automation. Even partner voices carried a tone of guarded optimism. One systems integrator working with multiple regulated clients shared in a Greyhound field note. For the first time, I'm seeing an automation pitch that starts with the right question. What does your enterprise already run? That's a relief. And perhaps the most poetic and practical endorsement came through a Greyhound field note from CISO at a South American logistics company who told us, IBM isn't promising automation that changes your world overnight. It's promising automation that doesn't blow up your world while it's changing. That's worth a lot more. Not a rebrand, a realignment with enterprise reality. This isn't an automation rebrand or an opportunistic AI overlay. It's a foundational rethink of what reliable, secure, and scalable automation really takes. IBM's hybrid integration approach is less about fancy demos and more about frictionless deployment, audit-ready design, and control planes that scale with policy in mind. It reflects a shift from demo-centric posturing to infrastructure-centric pragmatism, the kind CIOs can plan against and CISOs can sign off on. At Greyhound Research, we believe this posture reflects where automation must head next, not toward novelty, but toward operational resilience. Resilience in automation is no longer just about keeping workflows moving during outages. It's about building systems that are provable, observable, and governable by design. It's about ensuring that what was automated last quarter still passes the audit this quarter. In a market oversaturated with plug-and-play promises and AI-first messaging, IBM's approach stands out for being quietly rigorous. There's no magic wand here, just hard-earned insight into what it actually takes to operationalize automation inside global enterprises that deal with regulation, fragmentation, and risk every day. And in 2025, resilience isn't just a desirable outcome. It's a boardroom imperative. Because when automation fails quietly, audit risk explodes loudly. When secrets leak through poorly managed orchestration layers, reputations unravel. IBM's architecture is designed to prevent those headlines, not chase them. And for CIOs and CISOs alike, that may be the most strategic value of all. Analyst in focus, Sunshit Veer Gogia. Sunshit Veer Gogia, or SVG as he is popularly known, is a globally recognized technology analyst, innovation strategist, digital consultant, and board advisor. SVG is the chief analyst, founder and CEO of Greyhound Research, a global, award-winning technology research, advisory, consulting, and education firm. Greyhound Research works closely with global organizations, their CXOS and the board of directors on technology and digital transformation decisions. SVG is also the founder and CEO of the House of Greyhound, an eclectic venture focusing on interdisciplinary innovation. Copyright policy. All content contained on the Greyhound Research website is protected by copyright law and may not be reproduced, distributed, transmitted, displayed, published, or broadcast without the prior written permission of Greyhound Research or, in the case of third-party materials, the prior written consent of the copyright owner of that content. You may not alter, delete, obscure, or conceal any trademark, copyright, or other notice appearing in any Greyhound Research content. We request our readers not to copy Greyhound Research content and not republish or redistribute them, in whole or partially, via emails or republishing them in any media, including websites, newsletters, or intranets. We understand that you may want to share this content with others, so we've added tools under each content piece that allow you to share the content. If you have any questions, please get in touch with our community relations team at connect at thofker.com.